Hey everyone, my name is Paul, and today I will tell you a story about a small but really bad mistake I made that almost destroyed my RAV4. That's me earlier this year installing a lift kit on my RAV4. These bolts had the most rust, so I'll be sure to coat them in grease. So dumb. I had so much trouble with the rust on my RAV4 that I decided that putting grease on the bolts was a good idea to prevent corrosion. Boy was I wrong. The first problem showed up a month after I put my suspension together. The car would clunk when I put it in gear because the rear differential mounting bolts came loose. I was able to drive around for almost a thousand miles before I noticed a clunking in the right front and my steering wheel wasn't straight anymore when I drove down the street. The right front strut mounting bolts came loose and I lost my alignment. My RAV4 would also clunk in the right front when I backed up and applied the brakes. I decided to continue being an idiot and I didn't investigate. I was driving around the neighborhood and hit a speed bump going 15 miles per hour when I heard a loud clunk in the right front corner and my car suddenly stopped. I could back up, but I couldn't go forward. I went back to the speed bump and picked up my missing front brake caliper bolt. Because of all the grease, the caliper mounting bolts came loose. The top bolt fell out and the caliper rocked forward, locking the wheel. I lost my wheel weights and got a nice deep groove cut into the wheel. Here I'm taking that front caliper mounting bracket off. Bolts rely on the friction between their threads to stay on. If you reduce that friction a lot by adding grease, the the bolts won't stay. It's pretty simple, really. I'm using brake parts cleaner and compressed air to get all the grease off the bolts and the holes they thread into. Now I'm paranoid about stuff getting loose, so I'm adding blue Loctite to everything too. Now I can put it back together and tighten the shit out of it to factory specifications with my imaginary torque wrench. Here I'm cleaning up the strut bolts. If I don't pull the adjuster all the way out, I can still clean the threads and hopefully keep my alignment pretty close to where it was. This was a bit tedious. At least I can clean the bolts one at a time and I don't really have to take anything apart. I'm adding Loctite to these bolts as well. I'm confident my car won't fall apart this time. This is video from my lift kit installation earlier this year. The rear camber adjusters were extremely rusty. I couldn't unscrew them and ended up cutting off the tie rods and replacing the differential cross member. These little bastards were the beginning of all my problems. Let's take these bolts out and get all that grease off the threads. Here I have a little dilemma. Do I leave the bolt clean and have it rust solid later, or do I grease it and die the next time I drive my car at 80 miles an hour? Let's do both. I'll grease the shaft and lock tight the threads. Seems like a good idea to me. There we go. I'll torque that to super tight and hope my car stays in one piece this time. Okay, I've cleaned the bolts and this car is good. All I have left to do is take the car into the shop for an alignment. But first, I'm going to try to realign the subframe. In my tire upgrade video, I had problems with the right front tire touching the back part of the wheel well. Alignment numbers confirmed this and showed my right front caster was too far negative. That means the wheel is too far back relative to the top of the strut. I'm guessing the subframe might have moved in my car at some point. Right now I'm going to try to move the subframe and hopefully fix that negative caster. I'll start by loosening the front bolts, but I'm not removing them. I have the subframe sitting on the jack and I'm loosening the rear motor mount. The longer control arm bushing bolt also holds the subframe onto the unibody. The final bolts are by the struts. These bolts have been on here for 22 years and they're rusted solid. My impact wrench can't take them off. That's okay. This stupid car can't stop me. I'm heating it up with the map gas torch for a while, then back to the impact wrench. That still didn't work, so now I'm using a breaker bar with my jack handle. I can apply more torque this way, but I have to be careful not to snap the bolt. I moved it in both directions to loosen it up. And back to the impact, then the torch. I can do this all day. There we go. Finally, the bolt comes out. With all the subframe bolts loose, I'm trying to push the right side forward. I don't think it moved. I'll just put this strap here, then tighten it up. I just got back from the alignment place, and the right front caster is still the same. There could be something bent in the unibody, or maybe that aftermarket Moog control arm isn't quite right. But caster is not a tire wearing angle, and I decided I no longer care, and I'm just going to leave it alone. It seems as though I haven't accomplished much today, but we did learn stuff like the subframe in this car is not adjustable, you should not have bad hairdos, and most importantly, don't put grease on the bolts in your car. Anyway, there's still plenty of shit wrong with this car, so be sure to tune in for the next episode.